The big three American automakers came to Washington saying they needed a bailout. This is a slap in the face to the taxpayers to come to Washington on a corporate jet and ask for a handout is outrageous. We wanted to retrace the journey taken by the big three automotive CEOs in 2008. Only we are going to get there on electric motorcycles at a cost of about $4 per guy. Rhino is a small company with a big idea, the Inertia, the world's first highway legal 100% electric production motorcycle made right here in America. Our trip was designed to be an organic, real-time interactive experiment one that we hoped would enable us to give Obama a homegrown solution to the nation's transportation crisis, a Bramo inertia of his own. The hub of the project was ShockingBarack.com. It served as a makeshift social community, and it was a recruitment tool for outlets, couches, and political contacts. As the riot unfolded, it became evident that it was a new form of live advertising, one that enabled content to be created, produced, edited, and published in real time. So the world could not only watch, it could participate. People began to feel less like they were following the trip and more like they were along for the ride. Good. This is the best meal we've had this whole trip. And as the miles went by, the project was fueled as much by altruism as by electricity. I got power for you there. Hey, welcome to Harry. You guys awesome. need electricity. Our story spread through online word of mouth to traditional media in towns along our route. In just a week's time, over 150 news organizations profiled our journey. People have lost faith in America's ability to innovate and America's ability to be scrappy and do a lot with little. And we believe that we're riding two-wheeled evidence to the contrary. By the time we reached DC, the bikes had become a rolling petition from the people to the president. Thank you for contacting the office of Senator John Kerry. Every call we made, every door we knocked on, every hand we shook, brought us one step closer to meeting Obama. We're at the White House. Kind of has a little bit of a gated community vibe. You guys with this guy's number. Calls were returned. Doors began to open and policymakers began to listen. I'm hoping that somewhere, someone is trying this hard to give me something. And then it happened. The public support and mounting social pressure caught the attention of the man who oversees the nation's energy policy. Craig just came out of a meeting with uh, Secretary Chu. Obama asked for a million vehicles by 2015. And, you know, we're kind of signing up for 150,000 of those. Hopefully this will further pave the way for uh, one of these bikes to actually get to Obama, although the bigger mission is definitely being accomplished. I, I... So we've come a long way, but if we're honest, we haven't done what we came here to do, and that's give the president an electric motorcycle. Ryan is chaining this bike to a pole, and we're going to take the key to that lock, and we're also going to take the ignition key. These are going to Barack Obama. It's not the fairy tale ending that, that we had hoped for, but it's a real ending, and I think that's maybe even better.